Yo, dudes and dudettes, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Play is back. And today, I start a new series on my channel for a manga to anime I have been following anxiously for the last two years, and I am so excited that it has finally gotten its own anime on Funimation right now. And I just, I'm so excited. And for that, it's for people who've been following me for a while, you already know, is for how heavy are the dumbbells you lift, or as I've been known to call it, Dumbru Non Kilometero, all right? Or Dumbbell Kilometero. But this new series is gonna be all about this. Do you even lift, bruh? Now, for those of you who are new here, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jordan Downs. I've been a certified personal trainer and strength coach for the last 10 years now. I went to college and got my degree in health, fitness, science, and um, exercise studies. I've trained countless men and women over the course of years, and with my channel, I've actually helped a lot of people find a passion for something that keeps them active. Either through my series, Tough Like the Tunes, where I make workout programs based on your favorite fictional characters, or my analytical series, Would That Work Out, where I use my knowledge of personal training and exercise science to analyze how effective a fictional character's routine would be if it, you attempted it in real life. So go check out like those. I have a whole bunch of playlists. I'm pretty sure I've covered at least one of your favorite series, so definitely go give those a watch. As a personal trainer and a massive geek, I just actually fell in love with this manga series a couple years ago, and like I've done so many videos on it. Like you can go back, dive down on my channel, and just see like I've mentioned it like a lot of times because I was really praying this day would come, and lo and behold, the day it's finally here, and uh, it's really cool. But in this series, Trainers React, what I'm going to be doing is sort of like I mentioned before, a watered down would that work out series where I look at, I re react to each episode and see like, okay, what is valid and what is not. Because while Don Bruno Matera, or How Heavy the Dumbbells You Lift again, uh, is my favorite anime. I'm sorry you're number two now, Dragon Ball, but you'll always be a goat. While the majority of the series is great, there are some little instances and explanations they do that I found to be completely false or I feel just need a professional's opinion on the matter. And since I've been doing this for damn near over a decade, and hell, actually before that too, because I actually started researching when I was 17 and been reading just countless books because reading is one of the best things you can do for your health kids and uh, just I've learned so much and I can just look at this from objective and just be like okay that that needs some work okay that is great or that just um, needs a little bit of help right there so this is just gonna be a fun educational series on my channel about something I am super super passionate about and I'm really glad I'm able to share it with y'all and for those of you who are just watching this like stumbled on this video and like oh I I'm not sure if I can do fitness or and I'm watching this show and I just want to know if it's valid I hope it can help motivate you find some sort of activity that you want to do so that you can you know be better for yourself or anything like that because a lot of people it's just gonna help your life if you're just trying to be healthy and fit this is gonna help your life and remember this like don't think about it like oh it's this overwhelming thing just aim to get 1% better each day if you get 1% better each day because you're never gonna just appear super jacked overnight you always get incrementally better that's always gonna happen so just think of it you're just 1% better each day 100 days later you are gonna be a freaking boss you're gonna be completely different so just keep that in mind and remember this you are the hero of your story no matter what you're a man woman child whoever you want to be you know not binary or anything like that just focus on being the best you possible and this show and series and just like positivity and activity will help you get there so let's get to it oh my god I'm digging this freaking intro yo this stuff is dope I can't speak Japanese, but it's macho. Oh God, macho. Oh God, I love this. I love this. The animation, spectacular. Absolutely beautiful. Everything about it is so great to see the girls. Freaking Hibiki, Akemi, Ayaka, Zena, and the teacher. I always forget her name, but she's great. And freaking Machi, I just. Oh God, it looks great. This looks so awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Oh. Ah! I have no idea what they're saying, but I'm bumping it. Now you sign up. I'm working out. Getting all jacked. Oh my god, I love this intro. Off this for a second and talk about Hibiki not being able to train at home. This is actually a very common thing that a lot of people have problems with, where they invest in these home gyms or they have all of this stuff and they're just not able to get themselves in the right mindset to go down there because it's always available. Like that's something that they can just put off anytime they go. If you actually like put in money to a gym membership, it's like I'm putting in money into this, I better get into it. And then of course there's gonna be a ton of people around 
around you motivating you or seeing you because like some people have this misconception that gyms have a bunch of people who are a-holes to you like oh yeah what's up bro like you, you what you doing dude you're fat dude or something like that no like most people just try to keep themselves if you ever feel like you have a issue with like oh I'm I don't feel confident enough to go to a gym by myself then uh, just put your headphones in listen to your favorite music podcast and then have a program to follow just going through the motions that's going to help you have a good workout and get in and out without worrying about any other people like don't focus on other people they're trying to focus on their workout and if they are staring at you then just go tell the front desk and they'll be removed immediately you don't have to worry about this like trust me I've been a trainer in these commercial gyms for a while like if you see that sort of thing happening that's like no bueno we do not mess around with that so do not worry about that get your headphones on just put it in and get to working out in the gym. You see, some people who just don't realize they have the motivation or discipline to do something consistently will uh, start going, oh, I'll just train at home instead of going to a gym because they don't want to put in money and they don't want to, you know, just go leave the house. They want to just be able to train and help. But the problem with that is some people just do not build up the neural pathways in your brain. And neural pathways are these little pathways in your brain that become stronger and make you actually want to do stuff consistently. So for example, you can build up your neural pathways for exercise by doing some something as simple as 15 minutes a day. It could just be walking or doing some light exercises and that makes you actually want to continue doing them. Now, if you do it for a while, let's say you do it for 30 days and then you stop doing it for like a week, then your neural pathways will become weak and it becomes really hard to build them back up again because now you're just like, oh, I was on a streak and now I can't do it. So that's why it's really cool to consistently work out and that's why gym membership would be helpful because you're paying for it. You have to go to it or it's just like, I'm wasting money like what's the point of doing it but to go again with what Habiki was doing she was trying to train at home and uh, it, it just it's a different air like you have to be a different sort of animal to do that like some people can do it for, right off the bat like oh I'll train at home like I have no issues doing it but the, some people just have an issue like oh I'm I have too many distractions around me I have too much stuff like oh my TV's right there I can go to the other room I can rest as long as I need to but if you're at the gym an active area it just promotes this like air of activity of like I want to go do that oh there are also classes I can do do. Oh, there are various things I can just try out and see uh, to be better. And like, I, if I feel like very uncomfortable, I can always just put my headphones in and just, you know, go work out. It's a very different aura of working out on your own. Like there's nothing wrong with working out on your own and you can become like brutally strong working out on your own, but some people just don't have that mindset and just want to be healthy and fit. So always keep that in the back of your head. Like, okay, I want to do this for this level. Like don't lie to yourself. Just be honest about your goals and what you want to accomplish. Now let's talk about this right here. Habiki is trying to find a good gym for her and now she's freaking out because you know all these super machos are around her now the thing this is very important for you to find the correct gym for yourself because like you got to figure out like what type of gym you want to go to so if you're going to something like LA Fitness that's just like people who are generally into fitness and health and there's tons of classes you can do and tons of variety of just like stuff you can do but if you go to some place like Gold's while there are also a ton of classes that's like the bodybuilding mecca so if you feel like a bit intimidated by bodybuilders who most of the time very friendly people and we'd be willing to help you it's um, you just got to keep that in mind also there are places like you know planet fitness a lot of people crap on planet fitness because it's not really the best ideal if you're trying to be a super bodybuilder huge or anything like that but if you have to find some place just for cheap for ten dollars a month then it's better than nothing just don't go for the you know the pizza and Tootsie, Tootsie Rolls and all that stuff they put out in the front because that's not good for you at all. But like, if you're just going into Planet Fitness, using the weights, just trying to lose weight, use the treadmill or anything like that, and you're just trying to be healthy and fit, it can work. But again, if you're like an athlete or someone who's trying to be like a next level bodybuilder, I would not suggest going to Planet Fitness. But again, always just look at what the gym offers. Some of them offer classes, some of them offer like, you know, PT work and you know you can find what works best for you and your schedule so always keep that in mind okay macho even in his skinny design looks really good like rocking the tracksuit got the Goku tracksuit on so oh god I love it like this show was a reason I got a tracksuit in the first place like when I first read the manga it's like oh god I love it I love what they've done with Akemi's creaming face which just like oh yes muscles I love it I love this animation they added so much to it in the animation 
Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so great. I'm so happy, y'all. These reactions are like what make me made me fall in love with the character, besides her personality, because she is pretty much like she makes all these Saitama faces, but she trains really hard and eats like Goku, and it's just like a perfect blend, and then there's something that happens later on that we'll see later, but oh my god, I, I love it so much. Now, this is one of the top five things that made me fall in love with Don Bruno and Kira Matera when I first read it, is how technical and accurate they are with explaining the exercises. Now, I will say I do love the way they do it in the manga a little bit more because they, they have all the technical and the stuff written down right next to each other, but this is absolutely great. I love how they're getting the form down, the ha proper hand positions, and just explaining this is so well done. I have no complaints about this whatsoever. Like, this is how you would explain it to a client on the first day, and I think that's great. Now, if you're someone who wants to actually switch it up, you can always use, like, dumbbells instead of using a barbell. Pretty much the same thing, but instead of doing, like, a barbell, you're just going to use your dumbbells and it gives you a greater stretch so you're able to get some more mass on the pectoralis major and actually help you grow some more muscle stimulus if you really focus on contracting and flexing at the top of the movement and if you have shoulder issues because as many of you know I when I was younger I developed a lot of injuries from ego lifting to impress a bunch of people who aren't in my life anymore because I had a very inferior inferiority complex basically think of Bakugo and I felt like that and I had to prove myself when to these people who had no reason. Uh, there are certain ways you can work around it. For example, if you have a shoulder impingement, you can always go to a neutral position. Neutral position just helps a lot of things, but now you will be primarily focusing on the tricep instead of just like the primary chest, but you're still gonna be working the chest and the pec area. You're just going to be going like this and focusing lowering down. If you follow my Tough Like the Tunes, I primarily use a neutral grip because of my shoulder injury that I developed when I tore it back in 2013, and it actually helps me a lot. I'm able to bench press a lot of weight, or if you want to you can add a slight rotation to it so when you do it you do a slight twist it's going to give you even more benefits and less strain on the shoulder and I find it works phenomenal but that's just if you have any impingements but again what they're showing right here 100% chef's kiss got my verified key that is beautiful that is just uh i cannot explain anymore that is great all right i love the fact that habiki is just like so dead after training session because if you've ever if you, it's your first time training i don't care who you are unless you have just some advanced genetics your body is going to be sore i remember my very first time ever going to the weight room as a freshman in high school my arms were stuck like this my arms were stuck like this for like four days. It was just so crazy. So that is gonna be a bit intimidating. Now, you don't have to completely destroy yourself, but I'm gonna give you fair warning. When you first start exercising that religiously, your body, when it first is getting adapted to all the stuff, it's going to be like so freaking sore from all the lactic acid built up and you're just gonna be super tight and you just tore all the muscle fibers. You're just gonna be like, oh God. It's, it's gonna be really painful, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. It's that aching pain. But if you ever feel sharp pain, that's something you need to stop immediately and go get help and go reevaluate your form. But like, dull aching pain is gonna be good. Habiki is my spirit animal, y'all. Habiki is legitimately my spirit animal because I'm always snacking on something like that. I, I love this. I love it so much. Again, squat stuff. Now, I will say I do think they did a better job with the visuals describing the proper way to squat in the manga because the visuals, like as you see right here, this is all, again, 100% on point. I, I completely agree. Like, squatting is one of the best things. Like, y'all see my legs? I got some diesel ass legs, y'all. How do you think I got them? Squats and a bunch of other stuff that we get to later in this series but again you can't spell legendary without leg day so don't skip your legs you don't want to be like what they're mentioning here with this chicken man all right you don't want to do it but yes i agree with this so much also Something I found for some people who have issues with like their knees during the squat, what actually helped me a lot was when I was in physical therapy and I started doing Hindu squats. Now, if you haven't done uh, Hindu squats before, be sure to check out my Garu and uh, Baki, the grappler tough like tunes is where you stand on your the balls of your feet and you squat down and you pull yourself up and you're swinging your arms in a motion. Sort of think like Saitama, but on his toes and like what they're pretty much doing right here in this like episode. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to work your quads and hamstrings and just get them nice and strong also your calves too and uh yeah it's a great way if you're trying to rehabilitate the knees or get them stronger that is something you could do most definitely but i love what they're talking about with the squats especially with um 
the way they're describing it, everything here, it's, it's so beautiful. Like, Macho, it's just, he's an ideal guy. He's just ideal. I love this dude. I want to be this guy. I love the bond between Akemi and Habiki. Like, just their bond of, like, we gotta get healthy and fit, and how she loves her for being this, like, shonen battle protagonist because she eats so much. Like, it's so great. I love this. I love this show so much. Thank you, God, for letting me live to see it. I love it. I love it so goddamn much. Oh, they have a little bonus thing at the end? This is awesome! Okay, yeah, okay, I take back what I said about the squad thing. This is, this is really great! I love this! This is so good! Well, dudes and dudettes, that was episode one of Trainers React. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really had a lot of fun doing it. I can't wait to do this weekly for the next 12 weeks. Don't worry, I'm still gonna be uploading every, uh, excuse me, Saturday and Sunday or something like that if I want to do weekend uploads. But, uh, yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you can see whenever I upload. I'm gonna be having a lot of fun with this series, gonna always be rocking in my little tracksuit. I might try my different tracksuit next week, but like because Machio wears a tracksuit and I was inspired by tracksuits, you know, because of this, so I'm definitely gonna just wear this every time because it makes me feel even more like a personal trainer every time I wear it. But um, yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the first episode. I'm really curious. If you're new here, like tell me like what made you like click on this video or anything like that. I'm just really, really curious. And again, like I'm so grateful that this show is here. I'm so glad y'all are here. And if you feel like um again you want to you know, actually try to get to the gym or anything like that. I actually have a few programs that you might be interested in. For example, I have a program called The Hero's Will, which gives you that will to actually want to be better so that you want to train and work out. I actually have a program uh, for the gym called um, All Might's um, Athletic Hero Build, where I made a version of Deku's training program from My Hero Academia for real life for anyone who wants to try it out. It's a weight program. And then I have a calisthenic routine, which you need no equipment for, called A Mighty Guide, like Mike Guy from Naruto which you just can build muscle, burn fat, or do any of that from the comfort of your own home. You literally need no equipment. And so check those all out in the description box down below. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I cannot wait that my Anna Bays are gonna be here. I cannot wait to see all the avatars of Habiki's faces. I can't wait to see all Akemi's faces, the arguments over best girl. I can't wait for Xena and Ayaka to do their thing. And so I, I love it, I love it so much. But um, thank you all so much for watching. And remember, like I always say, Keep calm, booyah on, and don't forget, Momentai. Now let's go get macho, ho!